How do planes travel so far without stopping? Have you ever gotten into a fight? My question is, what was the worst thing you did at school? Did you ever get detention in your life? <laughs> Ask Grey Not Google evolved because I realised how much I was personally Googling questions. And I thought, there's all these walls of knowledge and I'm quite lucky to have three living grandparents. So I banned Google in my family. And for a whole month, we rang our grandparents, emailed, FaceTimed, rather than Googling a question. We're really excited to get on board with the idea of our young people learning from and gaining wisdom from elderly people rather than just getting online and trying to find stuff out. I think it is, it is an automatic response for us to go to technology to look for an answer and I think it's, um, it's just another resource and it's a, the teachers appreciate that the children are realising that there are other avenues to find out information and learn things. Things that we take, you know, the older people who have more experience and they've got more worldly knowledge because they've lived so much longer um, then us, you know, we take that for granted and I think that visiting that today, a lot of light bulbs clicked in the students head today. The thing that was key to remember was that Google is information, but Granny's information and experience. I think by just discussing it and making it um, a conversation that comes to the forefront of their mind that actually, yeah, I've got someone in my life that I could ask and build a, a stronger relationship with. So the feedback from schools has been overwhelmingly positive. They are really excited about embedding this idea, just not on a one day, but into their actual curriculum and to get children to thinking about asking Gran and not Google every day.